an ordinary supercar, but it made the whole LAPD like an enemy, especially when they saw the driver's license. The chief also had to personally order the driver to be sent away politely immediately. Just now, Nolan was on patrol and spotted the speeding sports car, but when stopping the other party and seeing the sign on the back of the car, Lucy and Nolan looked at each other and smiled. It would be criminal to drive this car at 40 miles an hour. Nolan in a very puzzled. This is what crooked, but when to see the woman's driver's license, Nolan, but not calm, immediately reported the situation. According to information that the woman named Vivi, the past 20 years, involved in a number of Los Angeles and Hong Kong burglaries, but every time they can get away with it, the police have never been able to get hold of conclusive evidence, have no choice but to release the person, but Vivi's sudden appearance, there must be some big conspiracy. After they returned to the police station, they targeted the weekend charity gala, when there will be many celebrities with expensive jewelry to attend. If they let Vivi under their noses, the police department's face will be lost. However, what they could not have imagined is that, unlike the previous low profile, this time Vivi is very high profile, not only stayed in the most luxurious hotel in the area, and even the subordinates are also very high profile. Computer experts, explosives experts, retired special forces, racing experts have appeared in the hotel see each other so high profile, the police department also directly monitor them. See the target appeared Nolan went up to be a taunt. That represents the identity of the supercar was also locked up. But Vivi is like looking at the fool like looking at the two, and then sat on the side of the cool motorcycle. My backup plans have backup. After saying that, she drove the motorcycle and left in a handsome manner. Meanwhile, on the other side, Bradford was staring at Vivi's men, but he didn't want a bus to block his view, and by the time Bradford rushed over, they were long gone. However, to Bradford's despair, the bus was empty. Soon, however, a cover in the passageway catches Bradford's attention, and he realizes that there is a sewer connection underneath. Meanwhile, on the other side, the police receive a call from a woman who says she has lost her computer, which details the jewelry to be auctioned off at the charity gala. The police learn that it is not the charity gala that Vivi is targeting, but rather the convoy that is escorting the jewelry, which is when Vivi's team manages to stop the convoy. Driving the car is Nolan, and with Bradford's taser, the retired special forces soldier goes down, and the woman is about to blow up the door when she is caught in the crossfire at Lucy's gunpoint. Seeing the situation is not good, Vivi turned her head is ready to escape, but she is proud of herself, wearing high heels. How can she outrun Nolan? Just one shot by Nolan successfully put down, she can only be captured. Her reputation is forced to end here, but unexpectedly this side of things just ended. Turn a man suddenly appeared to stop the police car, without saying anything, began to smash the car. What the hell is this? Los Angeles is surrounded by zombies? 